Hello, I'm Dr. Deborah Davis from Pittsburgh Center for Environmental Oncology, and I want to talk with you about something that many people don't really appreciate, aspartame. Now, it's something that we think is going to help us lose weight, but one of the secrets is that artificial sweeteners, if anything, make us gain weight. Ask yourself this, how fat is America today? The reality is we have more obesity than ever before. We have the highest use of aspartame. Now, there's not just a direct relationship, but it's not a coincidence, I can assure you. Mr. Rumsfeld here, he has done a lot of interesting things in life, but one of the things most people don't know about is that he was the CEO of the G.D. Searle Company. Now, he was hired in 1977. That was the same year that the company was put under a grand jury indictment by the FDA for failing to provide adequate data. In fact, they were almost indicted for submitting fraudulent scientific data on the safety of aspartame in 1977. The company's response was to hire Mr. Rumsfeld. Uh, the grand jury indictment never got filed. In fact, in 1981, the day after Ronald Reagan was inaugurated, the C.G. Searle Company filed for approval of aspartame. And even though every single scientific group that ever reviewed the safety data prior to that had said it wasn't adequate, aspartame, five months later, was approved. And now we have this very widespread use of this, this compound. Now, I can't tell you that aspartame is dangerous, but I can tell you this. It doesn't help you lose weight. There's no evidence that it does. And we have recent reports from eminent scientists in Italy that animals that are exposed to aspartame prenatally have a very high rate of developing cancer. By the time they reach their old age, ages of 60s, 70s, and 80s, equivalent to humans today. Now, if that is the case, that is, if aspartame causes a risk of cancer that only shows up when we get to be our 60s, 70s, and 80s, then that means the millions of pregnant women and young children being born today who are taking aspartame regularly will not know whether or not they have an increased risk of cancer until 60 years from now. I don't think that's a risk we ought to take. I think that it makes a great deal of sense to reduce your use of aspartame. In fact, the women who did the lab studies that I mentioned to you showing this danger of prenatal exposure to aspartame. When they got the results, they all stopped using aspartame. And within two months, they'd lost an average of 10 pounds each. So if you want to lose weight, get out there and exercise and take care of yourself. And remember this, aspartame causes the brain to think it's had sweeteners and then sends out the signal to the blood, we need more sugar. So you often end up eating even more by using it. My advice is to reduce your risk and not use things that we can't be sure are safe for us. This is Deborah Davis. Thank you.